happy people smile all the time. Playing games, feeling fine, writing poems with rhyme. Happiness is yours if you smile all of the time. Gosh, where are you? We don't have all day, okay? Just come on, sit down, do what you're supposed to, hmm? Okay, you're gonna have to put on your meals in this house. You understand me? Take off your clothes. And you will do as I say, you understand me? Take your clothes off. I don't want this done right the first time, you understand me? Get on dress, Scott. Myself as your family. We have a problem, Michelle. We can't afford to have both you and Paul live here. Paul will have to live with another family. What are you talking about? Paul wouldn't go anywhere without me. Yeah, Bennett, what are you talking about? From the looks of things around here, you can afford to keep us living in style for quite a while. And you know, you've been more I don't trouble since you say. You're not splitting me and Michelle up. If I go, she goes. And if you don't like that, send us both back.
You lost the people already? Let me see. Were there people there? I'll be tempted. Oh, that's good. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what your sister got Look, for Christmas. What? She can open a present. Let's see what's in her present. What? Let's see what she got as a present. I don't know. Is it from Santa Claus? Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see what it is. Let's see what's inside. Yes, again. Again. How come you don't think about that? Give your father a kiss for that. Let's see if we can watch this now. You know how to work it? Because I don't. Well? They're gone. All of them? No. They only took the ones that are most in incriminating. That mm. punk knew exactly what he was taking. Oh, I don't think they'd go to the police, and they wouldn't believe them anyway, two runaway kids like that. No. We we'll just, we'll just have to find them before they think of anything. Yeah, at least they couldn't have gotten that far by now. This is this? This is the right address. But there's nothing here. Are you sure? Positive. See for yourself. Aunt Rose gave it to me at Daddy's funeral. She said if we ever needed it, this is where she lives. I guess she moved while we didn't need her. All right, Michelle. You'll see everything will work out. I promise. Come on. Come on, Michelle.
fuck up against the wall. Oh, shit. This nigga's fucking crazy. Who the fuck are you guys, the faggot mod squad? What one of you assholes made fun of my hat? Get over here, man! I'm gonna give it to you as a deal. Put it on! All right, take off your jacket, man. Oh, you, take, you just got that for Christmas, man. Take off your jacket! Give me glasses, punk. Get over here! Give me the gloves. This is crazy. Put your hand up, boy. My watch. Check out the watch, baby. All right, sit down, asshole. Everybody sit down. Sit down for what? Oops, sit, sit. Take the shoes off. Come on, boy! What the fuck you got hold? Why'd you buy some new socks, punk? You can't you give me no funky ass sneakers and shit. What you gonna do now, man? It's a gift for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. What, you, what you gonna, gonna do, do now, man? Come on, man. You got our sneakers. You got all the stuff, man. You got the stuff. What the hell's going on, man? What the that? Shut up, man. Shut up. Yo, don't do that. Yo, no. Yo, don't do that. Yo, don't like the... Yo, don't like Yo, don't like Damn, the thing is get him. Come on, Jay. Let's get out of here. Come on, take a This doesn't look that bad. No way. Come on. No. Come on. It's as good a place as any. Welcome to your new home. Afraid you can. There's nothing to worry about. What's the matter? You hear it? Hear what? Listen. It sounds like someone crying. Stay here. Hello? Anybody there? Stupid. Open your eyes, Freddy Cat. Come here. Oh, look, Paul. He's beautiful. Know what I'm gonna call him? What? Freddy. Freddy? Yeah, that way when you call me Freddy Cat, I think you're talking to him. Candy Graham. Merry Christmas. Hey, Chrissy. Chrissy, come on, it's Tony. Chrissy. I know you miss me. You got a lot of nerve showing up after what you did. Why don't you stay with one of your women? I'm sentimental. 
I miss the old place and I miss you. You are so beautiful. Cut it, Tony. When they let you out? Last month. If you ever go to jail, don't go to jail in Mexico. You lucky I didn't fly down there and testify against you. Yes, Chrissy, you know, you're so nice that I got you a present. I missed you in Mexico and you always wanted a mink. So I, I got something from you. Come on, open it up. It's for you. Come on, open it. Tear it open. Go ahead. What's that? Hey, Jay, I want to give this Christmas. You get that thing away from it's me! It's a ferret. I couldn't afford a mink, so I got you a ferret. And his name's JR. <laughs> hey, Chrissy. You got a boyfriend yet? What? I said you're getting laid yet. What'd you say? You know, you're getting paid yet. Are you still a student at that, what's it, barnyard school? Barnard College. I graduated. Hey. I'm a teacher. You hear that? Tony's sister's a big-time professor. What do you think they call her, JR? Mizzy Chrissy? I'm not a professor. I'm a substitute. Yeah, what are they paying you? Not enough to support you. Hear that, JR? I work my fingers to the bone, and what do I get? No respect. Not even in my own house. This isn't your house. You don't pay the bills here. I thought it was our house, Chrissy. Yeah, well, we grew up a long, long, long time ago, but you have no claims on anything here now. You kept it the same. Hi, JR. Still looks like shit, doesn't it, JR?
You were the one that said I look like a Beverly Hillbilly, right? Right. You look like a greaser. Uh-huh. Tony, can I come out now? No. I'll keep my eyes closed. What are you up to? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just relax. I'll leave Christmas to you, big brother. This better not be another trick. It's not a trick. Just stay in your boudoir until I call you and say I'm ready. Because tonight, we're stepping out. What are you gonna use for money? Who needs money when you got glide in your stride, pep in your step, and class up the- Tony! Excuse the outburst, baby. Scarlett O'Hara, you may come out now. Dark Gable is ready. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Hey, cleaner than the Board of Health or what? Where'd you find that? It's granddad's, all of it. These old clothes are gonna come back into style, and when they do, I'm gonna be ready. Tony, I have hey, to... Hey, hey, don't talk. Tonight is our night. I got brown champagne. Huh? 1984, a good week. Now, Gramps doesn't know I'm here yet. So what I want to do is that after we have this toast, I'm going to go over and surprise the old geezer. You know how he loves to see us together and dress Tony, up. Tony, you didn't get my letter? Yeah, I told you I didn't get a letter. Come on. Tony, a lot has happened since you've been away. He doesn't know I was in jail, does he? No, no, I, I didn't tell him. Tony, Grandpa had an accident. He fell on the ice. They let me take him home from the hospital. So I brought him here. They said I should have a nurse to take care of him. I barely had enough money to pay for the medicine. I had to go out to work. He was alone, and he tried to walk. I found him here, lying on the floor, dead. I thought you knew. I wrote you. Grandpa, you know my daddy? Yeah. What kind of a man was he? What kind of question is that? I don't know. Uncle Derek called him a fool. Said only fools get themselves killed. Your Uncle Derek said that to you? Yeah. Well, you know your Uncle Derek. His lights on, but there ain't nobody home. Your daddy wasn't no fool. No, so he just didn't understand some things. Hello, old man. Why don't you just reach into your pocket and let me have your wallet? Excuse me? I said, let me have your wallet. Please, mister, please. Please don't hurt me and my grandson. I'm not gonna ask you again. Now hand over the wallet. Don't hurt us, mister. I don't like nobody bothering my money. Get! When you talk to me, you speak clearly, distinctly, and you call me, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You take a hike, and don't you never, ever come back in this neighborhood bothering me or my grandson, or I'm going to blow your nuts into so many little pieces the squirrels can't find them. Now, get! I didn't know you had a gun, Grandpa. Well, it ain't much. But it gets the job done. Here. The other day, you asked me what I wanted to be. Rich. Rich. That's what I want to be because if we had the money to pay for medicine and a, and a nurse, he'd be alive today. Money is what matters, Chrissy. My life is getting very strange. It's upside down and rearranged. And suddenly I have to be a man. I don't like living on the street I'm tired, hungry, cold and weak The pain and fear are more than I can stand I have to make this nightmare end I miss my mom, my dad, my friends I want a chance to be a kid again Bye.
if you're a good little girl, Santa Claus is going to bring you something nice. Oh, sure. And he won't even have to come to the chimney. He could just come to the hole in the roof. I guess you're getting a bit big to believe in Santa Claus. I haven't believed in Santa Claus since I was four. I never knew that. Why didn't you tell me? I figured if you were that dumb to believe I believed it, why make you feel any dumber? Nice sister I got here. Well, since you don't believe in Santa Claus, I might as well give you a gift now. Gift? Nice wrapping. Makeshift. Oh, Paul, it's wonderful. Thank you. Now you and Freddie have a playmate. Merry Christmas, Michelle. Merry Christmas, Paul. Okay. Yeah, I'm just tired. Paul, how much longer do we have to stay here? We can't find Aunt Rose anywhere around here. Why don't we go back? It wasn't that bad. We just can't go back. We'll be okay here. Besides, we're having fun, right? Come on. You and Freddie get ready for bed. It's getting late. Paul, read me a bedtime story like Mommy used to. Okay, which one? Remember the one about the mean little nasty guy who wanted to kidnap the Queen's daughter? You mean Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. But you gotta promise to go right to bed, okay? Okay. Alright, you ready? Okay. There was once a mill who was very poor, but he had a beautiful daughter. 
and the thought struck him that he would speak about her to the king and get some situation for her. So he obtained an audience and he told the king he had a daughter who could spin straw into gold. Hmm. Then said the king, this is a quality which pleases me well. If your daughter is, as you say, so very skillful, bring her to the castle tomorrow morning and I will see what she can do. Hmm. The miller next day Dad, took his daughter. Where does mommy have to stay in the hospital? Well, she'll be coming home soon. She just has to take a few more tests. What kind of tests? Well, you see, the doctors are treating her and uh, she'll be as good as new, even better. I want mommy to be as good as new. So do I, Paul. So do I. Your mother told me to tell you that she misses you very much and she, and she loves you. I miss her too. Can I go with you to see her tomorrow? We'll see. It's getting late. Go to sleep, Sam. Love you, Dad. Excuse me, you got a minute? Yeah. You see these two kids in the neighborhood? A little girl about this high. Little guy? No. You know what happened? No. Nah, I ain't seen them. What makes you think they're around here? Just a hunch. And there's a five hundred dollar reward for anyone who finds them. Five hundred bucks? Parents must want them back pretty bad. But do me a favor, here's my number. If you see him around, give me a call. And you can make it collect. O'Connor, huh? Did you what they say about the Irish, O'Connor? What's that? Just give me a call, okay? I don't like living on the street. I'm tired. Hungry, cold, and blue. the pain and fear are more than I can stand. I have to make this nightmare, and I miss my mom, my dad. It's just not fair, because I don't even understand everything here. Little Ralph, come here. This son of a bitch, he calls me into his office and he tells me he has to let me go. Right? This bastard says they don't want no abusive people working there. I mean, this slimy creep told me that I was abusive. Am I abusive, hey, Ralph? Huh? Hey, relax. Am Come I on. abusive? No, huh? you're not. You're not. Relax. Dad? What? Can I go home now? I'm sure I have school tomorrow. How many times did I tell you to stop interrupting when I'm talking? Huh? How many times? Hey, Matt. Why don't you leave the kid alone? Go home, it's late, you had enough. Who's talking to you? Ain't your mind, you own goddamn it. I'm talking to my son here. Come on, go home. Hey, both of you, come on, listen. I don't want no fighting in here. Hey, and look, you've had enough. And these kids, they should be going home. Just get out of here. You see what you have me doing? I spoil a damn conversation. I wish it was you to death to study your mother. Hey, big hands. Why don't you pick on some of your own size? <laughs> My own size? Come on here! Come on, Come on over here! Come on over here! I'm gonna trim your beard! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on.
bodies, aren't we? You can trust me. He hit me. Who hit you? Was it O'Connor? Did O'Connor hit you, Scott? Was it Bennett? Did Mr. Bennett hit you, Scott? Why? Because he disobeyed me. I don't tolerate anybody not obeying my orders. You have no right hitting Scott like that. He's only a little kid. Oh, a little brat's more like it. Listen, I know how to deal with Scott, huh? So why don't you mind your own business and stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're not my father, Bennett. And you're not Scott's father either. My father wouldn't hit his kid. Your father was a drunk. And a bum. He was not. My, my father was a good man. My father loved me. No, he loved his bottle. Remember something. You're just a ward of the state. That's why you're in this foster home. That's why all the kids are in this foster home. Nobody wants you. That's not true. And Rose wanted us. Only she was too poor. Oh. Poor, poor Aunt Rose. <laughs> yes. What are you gonna grow up for? Your Aunt Rose doesn't want you. She only wanted to use you to get the money as an excuse. Was not. You're a lawyer. Don't try anything. Maybe I can teach you some respect, huh? Teach you a lesson you won't forget. Throwing you a compliment. Can keep it. Where'd you steal the headphones from? Satisfaction. Why don't you I get a job? Get no, huh? Why don't you get a job? Can't hear you. I can't get no. Look get... for a job. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you know that unemployment is up? If I were to get a job, I'd be taking a good job away from some poor guy that really needs one. I couldn't do that. Besides, no one makes money doing a good nine to five anyway. Shut up. That time of the month again, huh? I was down at the corner store. You give me something to eat? A cop came in. Huh? A cop came in looking for a certain someone. Don't play with that. I wanted to know the whereabouts of a certain someone. I was offering a reward. $500. See, a white guy, dark hair. Was he with a black guy, heavy set? Oh, you mean those two FBI men that were looking for you before? No, it wasn't them. Tall guy, beard, blondish hair. They weren't looking for you this time. Who's he looking for? Two little white kids, runaways. 14 and 11. And what would they be doing in the South Bronx? Maybe they wanted to see how the other half lived. Do you see that? You see that? Ghetto kids disappear every day, right? And these two little kids disappear, right? They decide they don't like the new video game daddy bought, so they run away. And concerned cops come running in with reward money. How much reward money would they offer if you disappeared? I can see it right now. Hey, Joe, another colored girl has disappeared in the South Bronx. Oh, that's good, Bill. Have another beer.
place is fucking red. My granddad. Michelle, stop playing games. Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Wah! I'll give you three seconds to get out here. One. Two. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and eight sixteenths. Michelle, come out here. Oh! I'm gonna get you for that. You think you're funny, huh? I want you to promise me you'll never do that again. Paul, you hurt me. Stop! I want you to promise me. I promise. And I want you to say Paul is the master supreme. That's it. You slapped me. I'm sorry, Paul. I didn't mean to. I thought something happened to you. I won't hide from you again, Paul. I'm sorry. Okay, Rocky. Is that a promise? It's a promise. Oh, I brought you something. What is it, Paul? Designer jeans. They should fit. I'll go try them on. Time to go on a musical game. Time for the instant to take revenge, 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 revenge. When I was a kid, just about three, my granddad said, boy, sit on my knee. I got something to say that you ought to hear about the fast talking news that be drinking that beer. Rap, but they can't spell the name and they want to hang tough But they got no game, it's a shame to see them When they get old, cause they all dried up Left out in the cold Well it's fun to pop, and that you got to do But there's something else that you better do too Hey honey, you got to have it in the big friend, honey You need a tiger in the face, I said choose 
which way you want to go. Drive to the right if you're moving too slow. Yeah, drive to the right if you move too slow. Hey man, check it out. Remember, price so low you can't beat him with a stick. Yeah, man. Well, the secret to success, secret to fame, you don't have to wear goose or change your name. Just remember this rhyme I'm about to say. Keep it in your mind and say it twice a day. Early to bed, early to rise, work like a dog and advertise. Put your money in your pocket and not on your back. If you're in the fancy clothes, you're on the wrong track. Remember, empty barrels make the most noise. Up you took education, you made the right choice. Why go out to eat when you can stay home and cook? Why watch TV when you can learn from the book? Why spend your money on designer jeans? Why play basketball when you can own the team? Say, money. In the bed, you better run it. You need a target in the take the bed too. Which way you want to go? Drive to the right if you're moving too slow. Well, drive to the right if you move too slow. Drive to the right if you move too slow. place where we don't have to climb over something. Honestly, Paul, first you climb a mountain and end up in the dumps, and now you expect me to climb a fence? Quit exaggerating. It was just a hill. Now, come on. No way. What do I look like anyhow? Stop being such a baby. If you want a bet, then climb. If you want a bet, then climb. What was that? Oh, shut up. Uh, you f come on, climb a fence, you faggot. Can't even climb a fence. Come on. Don't rush me. I'm coming. Let's go. He's so slow. Follow I mean, us. find these places. I will come up in the yellow pages. What do you think? Come on. Like no one's home. Not again. Quicker plenty, you're giving me a headache. Now wait here while I check the rest of the apartment.
someone at the door. Michelle, hurry up. Come on. Michelle. Michelle. Come on. They tore my hair yet. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, that's sick, Tony. Kitty porno. That's real sick. Kids carrying kitty porno with him. I want to have a heart attack. Nothing, just wait here. I gotta get something. What? Just stop asking so many questions and stay here. I don't like staying here by myself. Let me come with you wherever you're going. Well, just stay here and quit complaining. Oh, that hurts. I'll be back as soon as I can. For something? What's the matter? Ain't you never seen an American before? Where's your little friend? I'm alone. Listen up, Junior Flip, because I'm going to give you the best free advice this side of the Bronx. Rule number one, don't break into anyone's apartment. And rule number two, don't break into someone's apartment and get caught. And rule number three, don't ever Take a shower in my place, man, and not have the common decency to wash the funk off the floor. We didn't mean... Hey, man! If I want you to talk, I'm going to throw you a peanut. Until then, why don't you just shut up? Now, why don't you just take your little prepubescent self up into my humble abode and tell me to what I owe the pleasure of your company? Don't push me. Hey, what are you doing in my house, man? I just came to get something. Yeah, what? The radio or the TV? Neither. Well, what then? Nothing. Hey, man, you just some kind of thief or you push porno too, huh? We don't push anything. Oh. Well, what are the little pretty pictures for? Just the old five-finger romance, is that it? Five-finger? Go to hell! Hey, midget! As far as I'm concerned, you're a little rude, funky, bodacious, no-class kid who is not only out of his neighborhood, but is out of his little leave it to beaver mind. Now, if you want the chance to finish going through puberty, why don't you and I just go pick up your little girlfriend, I'll take you back to the suburbs and cash you in. She's not my girlfriend. She's my sister. Oh, now she's your sister. Well, enough talk. I'm taking you home. You know, it's a good thing I don't have you busted, man. It's just that I'm a Capricorn, I'm kind-hearted, plus that I want to keep my karma good. Now, let's go. I can't. Junior Flip, I'm tired out, man. You made me miss Star Trek. Plus that, I got high blood pressure. Now, don't make me have to kick your ass. Just give me the photos. Hey, Chrissy! Chrissy! Hey, Chrissy! Chrissy, look at that! Hello, Tony! Hey, Chrissy, we got a visitor here. Oh, Dennis the Menace just got busted trying to take another shower, didn't you, Dennis? What'd you say the kids were worth? 
500? Where's the girl? He says the girl's his sister. She is my sister. I'm worth a lot more money than that. If you play it right. If you play what right? Just give me the pictures. Hey, man, you don't get shit till I know what you're talking about. Play what right? The Polaroids. They're worth a lot of money to the right person. How much money, man? As much as you can get. Now, why don't you start from the beginning and go to the end? And don't you be bullshitting. about the two kids. What two kids? You know what two kids. And I know where they're at. Okay. Where are they? <laughs> Not so fast. Let's play dialing for dollars. Behind door number one, do I hear a reward? Okay, I get the uh, kids, and you get your $500. $500? Man, I spend more than that on Pac-Man in a week. Let alone if I play Donkey Kong. You know, everybody's putting down my clothes, man. They say I look like a bum, so I want a new double-breasted Armani suit with a Brooks Brothers tie. My sister's tired of watching them Flintstones in black and white. So we want some yabba dabba do in color, baby. I want one of them big Japanese TVs, you know, with all the gadgets and shit, that remote control stuff. I tell you what, man, put another zero on that. I'll make you a break. Make it $5,000. $5,000? Listen, I'm in no mood for practical jokes, okay? Yeah, those pictures don't look like practical jokes to me, man. What pictures? The kind of pictures that look like they're worth $10,000, man. And all this talking is making my phone bill go up. Listen, who the hell is this? I'm the captain of the USS Enterprise. Now, that's not important to you. What's important to you is that I have what you want. Okay. Uh, tell me where they are and I'll, I'll bring you the money. I'll call you back later with the details. But right now, you just sit tight. And I promise you one thing. This shit is not a joke. This phone will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> Michelle! Michelle, I thought you promised you weren't going to play games. Michelle! Where were you? I was out looking for you. I got worried. I thought I told you not to go outside the building. I wasn't kidding around, you know. But I don't like... I don't care what you like. You just do what I tell you to do. Boy. You know, I have enough to worry about without your whining and your bullshit all the time. Boy. You think I like living like this? I can't stand it anymore. I want to have some friends. Some people I can talk to in my own age. I want to go on dates. I want to go to school. Me too. I'm sorry, Michelle. That I know, I know. It looks great. Paris to show it. Oh God! Now Italy is telling me it's like come over right away. I think I'll go to Paris first and then Italy. 
Yeah. Can I go? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's tell our stories in Paris and say maybe we'll go there first and then we'll go in the after. Me, Japan. <laughs> yeah. Japan. Get the best. Yeah. 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 We gotta work on this show here, like Calvin Klein. I heard he's using a lot of my. Uh, excuse me, do you have the correct time? Three o'clock. Anyway, okay. so we've gotta get this straight. We show our agents everything and show that we're really doing business with Klein. Any other stuff? <laughs> oh, you guys must be models, huh? Is that you? That's nice. You're, you're a model too, huh? Not in the park right now. Not working. Anyway, this is a picture they're crazy about. They want to send it over right I there. like that. Listen, I hate to bother like you guys, but I want to be a You are bothering us. Uh, you think I could be, be a model? <laughs> You're much too short. And besides, you want to be alone. Hey, video face, I let you talk about my sister. I even let you talk about my mother. But you crack on JR, I might have to stunt your growth. He's like a brother to me. He's the only friend I had when I got out of the joint. Oh, yeah? What were you in for? Kitty walking? Try on robbery. Yo, oh, bull. Wimp shit. I'm starting to like you less and less. That's good, because I never liked you at all. You know, I could just turn your ass up to the cops. You could. Then you wouldn't get all that green stuff from Mr. Bennett. Yeah, it might be worth it. Just to see your cute little ass behind bars trying to get a tan. You should know all about cute little asses. Considering you were in jail and all, Push it with me, Queen. Don't damage the merchandise. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. This is Mowgli. She was my favorite doll. I used to love her so much. I tried to take her in the bathtub with me. She got water soaked. And every time I squeezed her after that, she'd make me all wet. Oh, that's Tony. Isn't he cute? He used to always get into trouble. I remember he took all the sugar out of the sugar bowl and filled it up with salt. My mother was making her last cup of coffee and she put two tablespoons of salt. Oh, she was so mad she beat the hell out of Tony. That's Tony and I together. When we were younger, we were so close. I used to follow him anywhere. Just like me and Paul. Yeah. Just like you and Paul. Hey, Junior Flip. You and your sister. You guys ever get it on in Bennett's movies? You know, you're sick. Make it real. Together we can do it, I know. Make it real. This time we'll get to it. This is our chance. I'd like if someone wanted to put your sister in a porno film. 
I'd grab him by his ears. I'd wring his neck. And then I'd bury him up to his ankles in fresh camel shit. All except for his nostrils, I'd put two straws there so he could breathe. And then I'd put red ants down them straws so they'd eat his face. And then I'd have J.R. pee all over him. Bennett might like that. The trouble is how we make it look like an accident. Oh, that's easy. Just run over him with the truck a few times. I like the way you think. You can go far with an attitude like that. Yeah. Those pictures were weird. That's nothing compared to what they did to Scott. Who's Scott? Scott was my foster brother at the Bennett's. We shared a room together. He was a great little artist. He used to love to draw pictures. He drew this. besides me and Michelle. The thing I remember about him most is that he's always cry himself to sleep all the time. I never knew why. Until one day, I walked into our room and saw him without his shirt on. His whole back was covered with scars, like someone beat him with the belt. I asked him what happened, but he wouldn't tell me. I knew what happened. I knew who did it. It was Bennett. He was only six years old, and Bennett was beating him with the belt. What kind of man would beat up on a little kid? What kind of man would make a little kid do that stuff? What happened to him? They say he ran away, but I don't believe it. I found his stuff in a garbage can. His crayons and his drawings. That's why we can't go back there. You find a place to meet Bennett? Yeah. Tomorrow's payday. Where's Paul? He went back to the abandoned building to get his stuff. Why didn't you go with him? He shouldn't be roaming the streets alone. Hey, don't you start playing mommy with me now. And don't you worry about Paul. He's a tough little kid. Michelle's asleep. You should have heard some of those stories she told me. Those kids have been through hell already. Money isn't everything. Yeah? Get you a new color TV, or clothes, or medical care for an old man like your grandfather. Where are you going? I'm going out. Make a phone call and buy me a suit. To do what? To do whatever I do in style.
I'll teach you some respect, huh? Dumb around, he's gonna put your ass in a vice. And he's gonna squeeze so hard, you wish you were back in that jail in Mexico. Ooh, don't go away mad, Gus. Uh, just go away, huh? Funny man. Aren't you, Ben? I have what you want. Now show me what I want. Yeah, they're all here. Okay, kids, let's go. Frisky, baby. What is this? You got your money? Yeah, that money was for the pictures. And these little kids are gonna be extra. Hey, that, that wasn't part of the deal. What do you think you're doing? That wasn't part of the plan. Well, I'm altering the plan, baby. Tony, you can't do that! I can and I will! You bastard! You set us up! I knew I couldn't trust you! Well, we're not going back! Yeah, that's Man, if you shoot me, they're gonna put you the last away for good, baby. For good! I don't care! <laughs> uh. You're next, Bennett! This is for Scott! 
have nothing to worry about. Of course, uh, we'll have to find them in your home. I hope you find some people more reliable than the Bennett. We'll see to it this time. Yeah, you do that. Say, uh, Tony, I believe you have a little evidence for us. Care for any for you. Thanks. If you ever need anything, just call. So you finally got your stuff on Bennett. It wasn't as good as running him over with the truck. But I guess it'll do. Guess this is goodbye. Michelle, and next time you and Paul want to take a shower, give us a call. I'll even let you come in through the front door and, and save you through the window. All right? 